Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Sadie's. Make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss an upload. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I went ahead and applied this wig. It is a micro twist wig from Ula Wigs. So definitely make sure that you guys go ahead and check them out. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how I applied this. It was super, super easy to install. It's really long. Let me kind of show you guys how it falls it actually falls to my foot so yeah so yeah so um it's gonna be i'm gonna show you guys how i apply this super quick and yeah be sure to give this video a thumbs up a like comment and subscribe i really really love this wig it is perfect like you literally can just throw it on you don't have to do much to it to um get it style so yeah stay tuned for the next clip if you want to see how i apply this wig Okay, so as you guys can see by the title of this video, this video is sponsored by Eula Wigs. And um, so let me just give y'all a quick overview of the wig. Y'all, y'all know I have to try my wigs on before I start filming because I just want to make sure it fit my hair right. Is this going to work out good? What's the process? But, so I already took all the packaging out. Y'all know it comes in a pink package. Took everything off. But um, I just wanted to show you guys what they sent me, a wig cap. So thanks, that's really good because even if you don't use it for this wig, you could always have an extra wig cap. Can't go wrong with that. They also sent me the clips as well. I put them in my braided wig. If you guys see my braided wig um, recently, um, I don't know if you guys are gonna see this video first. Or you're gonna see that one, but you'll see the other one. I had clips in there as well. I don't know if I'm gonna use these for this one. And they also sent me this as well. So um, this is a quick overview of the wig. So, it's really, really, wait, let me show you out the front first. This is how it looks. As y'all can see, it has like a band on here as well. So, it's one of those wigs that you could take on and off. Like, I don't plan on gluing this down. I'm going to glue it down for the video sake. But after that, when I wear it, I'm not going to glue it down. It has clips all over. And it also, you can make it tighter. It has this clip. But, yeah, it's super, super cute. It's a long... It's like twist plaits. I don't know if y'all remember like back in 2010, we all was wearing these twist plaits. But now you don't have to sit down. And they're actually like micro too. And they're actually all scalp. If you see, y'all this wig is so fire. But then if you get to the back, it's tracks. But it's still super, super cute. Um, I can't wait to wear it. I don't know if I'm going to wear my part on the side or I'm going to do down the middle. But yeah, it's really long. It's coming like a 26. It's like, let me turn it down. I think I'm too bright for y'all. Hold on. Yeah, that's better. That's a little bit warmer. Um, Yeah, it's coming like a 26 inch. Let me make sure I'm showing y'all the whole wig. But yeah, this is super, super cute. And y'all, it's so crazy that I'm working with this company because, oh, let me get right into it. Let me tell y'all what I'm using. Y'all already know what I'm using. But if you knew, then you'll see what I'm using. I'm using Got To Be Spray. I bought me a new can. I got me some alcohol because you're going to need to wipe your edges to make sure your edges not like dirty or nothing. Some Pro Style Gel because I've been, and I've been using this on the other wig, the braided wig that I've been wearing, and I've been taking it off at night and stuff, and this is good because, like, the other glue is so, the other got to be, is so sticky, but this is just, like, come off, and you could just literally, like, take a little water and, like, get it off, and you're good to go. I got some alcohol, I got some pads to wipe around my edges with the alcohol, a comb to, like, press in, and then my baby hair is on. So, yeah, let's get right into this video. Um, let me go ahead and take my cap off. My braids are a little bit old. Well, they're not that old, but I've been taking wigs on and also my hair is like kind of messed up. But that's because, y'all, uh, your girl been getting to this bag and, um, you know, I've been working with some people, so I've been having to take my hair off. But anyways, I'm just going to push my real hair back like this. I'm just gonna push my real hair back but anyways so i wanted to briefly talk to you guys oh my god those cameras my cameras stay going on so i wanted to just talk to y'all because i've been seeing this whole okay so let's get into it because i don't want to be rambling so 
I've been seeing this whole thing on social media in regards to like the YouTube hustle course with Jayla Corian and like everybody making their like YouTube videos like telling my side of the story and this is kind of feeling like a whole R. Kelly situation right like everybody got a story now one person came out now everybody got a whole story to tell right and me personally I like to watch YouTubers that I've seen grow like Jayla is somebody I've watched and seen grow. Aaliyah's face, that's somebody I, like that's my little era that I've seen these people grow, right? Like I wasn't on YouTube when like Latoya forever, is it, is it forever Latoya? And like those type of people, I wasn't on YouTube where they was like growing their channels, but people like Jayla and like Aaliyah's face and then like recently like Kyra, you know, like that whole wave of YouTubers. Nevertheless, like Jayla, she been on her grind for a long time, right? And granted, maybe her course was not what certain people ex Okay, that's all back. Maybe her course, and I'm gonna go ahead and clip this wig in the back, cause I just wanted to be tight on where my head. Let me actually see. Let me try it on without it being clipped, and then let's see. Yeah, that was when I was, so Jayla was like during my era, right? And I'm just like, like, I get it. Maybe the course was not what certain people expected. But I feel like at this point, some of these little videos that y'all making, some of these videos are definitely, like, for clout. Um, you're trying to grow your, your upcoming YouTuber and you're trying to grow your channel and all of this. So, you trying to be messy and do stuff for clout but that's not cool because you know as black women let me make sure i got this good on right y'all as black women like i remember when the whole thing happened with be simone and like people were saying oh she a fraud see this why y'all can't be listening to these social media people and stuff but it's like y'all something i'm doing something wrong i'm doing something wrong let me pull it So, let me cut this off. So, I feel like some of y'all are doing, some of these people, let me not say y'all, some of these people are doing stuff for clout and, um, yeah, they want to, like, trying to get their followers up. And my thing is, like, as black people, we need to stop doing that. Like, seriously, like, if you have, if you had an issue with it, maybe, like, send her an email, send her a message and be like, hey, I took your course, blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. This is what I felt like I would lack. But I wonder if people even did that or did they just straight run. And let me tell y'all, first things first, I'm actually telling y'all off a rip. I'm actually going to dip these in some hot water just like you do the plaques when you finish just to thin it out a little bit because it's kind of like, it's a light, but I feel like I can make it a little bit lighter if I dip it. And I forgot to get mousse again. Okay. Yes, I feel like some people actually did it for, excuse my nails, y'all. I feel like some people was, like, trying to go in on her for clout and stuff. And, like, that's not cool. Like, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? She a young, black entrepreneur, business woman on her grind, on her come up. And it's like, why do, why do we do that? Like, every time somebody in a black community is, like, doing good, they make one mistake or they do something that you don't like in the whole black community. We're, like, the only community that do that to people. Like, other cultures, they don't do that. They cover their people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even, for example, the whole Arkansas situation that was dead wrong. He was wrong what he did. I'm not justifying it or nothing. But it's, like, people, you do something bad and, like, black people will tear you down to the freaking ground. Before the people come and take you to jail, they gonna put you under the jailhouse. Like, y'all need to stop that. So, yeah, like, at the end of the day, I'm just wondering, like, did anybody reach out to her and be like, hey, girl, listen, I took your course. I don't feel like I learned this. I was expecting to learn it. You know, I feel like, that's what, like, let me give y'all an example. For example, I went to, um, maybe, like, three years ago. I'm trying to see how much baby hairs I got left. Okay, I got a lot because I want to do like some baby hair. Okay, so like a few years ago, I went to Jada. This was she was a more Jada more at this point. This is before Jada Chavez. What her name? Is. But I don't know if she say her name now. 
Nevertheless, I went to a like seminar she was having. You get a free book. It was food, and um, you know, she was just giving some tips and stuff like that about you know how to bring social media following and this and that and how she did it and stuff like that. Because let's keep it real, you know, Jada was like a boss before she was little baby's baby mama or girlfriend or whatever the case may be. Maybe she was not as big as she is, but she was definitely still quite relevant before little baby. So, so she was still relevant before little baby. And um, yeah, she was just telling her story, you know, at the thing. Nevertheless, there were some things that I... There was something. trying to get into that whole like celebrity um makeup like no makeup makeup look but nevertheless okay so let's get into it what I wanted to talk to y'all about so I have seen on Instagram that Meek Mill's baby mom Milano Milano um posted something that said that she's just minding her business and taking care of her baby and some girl was like um, she was like, you could be, she was like something, you could be a wife or a wild baby mama, but, and Milano sent her like, and Milano said like a long paragraph back and was just basically like, oh, if, so every woman in your family who's not married and got a kid is just a baby mama. She was like, don't discredit me like that or something like that. But nevertheless, I don't think the girl meant it intentionally i don't think she meant it like in a malicious way i think she was just trying to say i think we all if you've been like following her on social media and stuff for the longest you know we didn't expect for her story to start out like this i'm not gonna say in like this i'm gonna say start out like this you know we expected a wedding you know a nice little wedding a nice proposal because she is a very nice girl and um, she's a very nice girl, and um, yeah, she's she carries herself well, and she's really nice. She's really like she's not like one of those Instagram look, you know. She's not an Instagram. She doesn't strike you as like one of those Instagram celebrity type girls. Like she seems really like wholesome and stuff. So we just thought like she we just thought she was gonna have her worst Russell Williams type of situation. Which is still never too late for that, but I think that's what the girl meant, and it's probably was taken out of context. But about that whole situation, the only thing that I did not like, like, granted, we know Meek got his ways, we know we've seen him have his little social media rants and stuff like that, and um. He just got a pass basically for it. And um, I don't know, me personally, like when I realized like, okay, they're an item, I didn't really, I was just like, oh, okay. Like they, 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 they vibing like that now. I didn't think nothing of it. But the only thing that I did not like is that like, he basically, he like let the world know like, okay, we not together no more but he didn't i don't feel like he really was like claiming her in the media like that like when this whole thing when they was like together i don't feel like he was like really like claiming her like that i don't know if i missed something or what but that's just my personal preference 
That's just my personal opinion. And I mean like that. Like you had to announce to the world like, oh, y'all not together. But you ain't announced to the world that y'all was together. Like y'all was an item. But you know, that's how it be sometimes. But I feel like she gonna bounce back. Like she a strong girl. You could tell like she bought her business and stuff. She gonna bounce back, you know. And I think she's just like, you know, happy anyways. You know, because she got my baby and stuff. So I don't think, but I know like nobody gets pregnant to be a single mom. Like nobody be like, oh yeah, I'm about to get pregnant. Let me go, let me go have a baby and be a statistic, be a baby mama. You know, like not be married, not be living in the same household, as, not even being married, but just like having that person who you had a child with. Because sometimes marriage come right at the, some guys like they be feeling like, okay, I want to have the baby first. You know, I don't know. Everybody a little different, but yeah, so but yeah, so I don't want to be too, I don't want to do my nose too strong, but yeah, like, but then again, I feel like still on the internet, like, people be OD and like. I'm gonna call a girl say she just a baby mama like at the end of the day people don't understand things happen and sometimes things don't always work out the way we want it to or the way you expect it even the bible said that many are the plans of a man's heart meaning like we have so many plans for ourselves and that doesn't always mean that it's gonna work out how we expect it like you gotta you know take it for face value for what it is and just keep moving forward. And me personally, like I tell people all the time, don't be that girl trying to be like, like you want, don't be that woman. Like you want your, you want to seem like you got this life. So I just bought this brush yesterday from Marshalls. It's a spa sister brush, 7703. It's like a stippling brush. But like, don't be that girl. Like you, oh no, you know what she did? She did blend it in with the thing. Okay, so I'm gonna blend it in with my foundation brush and then I'm gonna go in and increase it with this because the girl, she used the foundation brush. So, yeah, like don't be that girl. You wanna make your, you wanna make your, your, what you call it? Yo, you wanna like make it seem like you got this family, like you still with your baby father and all this stuff. Um, only to just still keep looking stupid in the end. Like, don't, you get what I'm saying? God could bless you with somebody good. Like, don't be settling. You get what I'm saying? Like, you see Sierra and Russell and Sierra wasn't settling. What if she would have, like, stuck out, tried to stick it out future to be like, yeah, I'm still with, them, with my son's dad and stuff like that. She wouldn't have known what was on the other side and look. And it ain't take long for Russell Williams to propose to her for them to get married. Now they were on a second child. It didn't take long for him to do that, you know, so don't be like settling, you know, I tell people don't settle just to seem like, oh, you got that family, that family thing, like, oh, yeah, I'm still with my, my kids, father and stuff, or whatever the case may be, because even like in the salon and stuff, like me and my mom, we come across so many of our clients and stuff, like, they've been married to people for 30 years and they sleep in separate rooms, or they've been, been together with the same person for years, and the person knowingly has a mistress and stuff like that. Like, just crazy stuff, you know? It's like, that's not cool. Just for the sake of, uh, we got kids together. Or for the sake of, like, yeah, we still together. We trying to make it work. Or whatever the case may be. Like, don't do that to yourself. What it does, it makes you, at the end of the day, no man who love you from the beginning of they sleeping in another separate room with you. Maybe for one night, y'all might get mad and be mad at each other and be like, go sleep in that room. I don't want you sleeping in here. But all that has been years, months, and y'all sleeping in separate rooms? Nah. Uh-uh. Or yo dude coming home all types of the night and you playing them like he come home type games. Like, no. And then at the end of the day, women need to have that same energy that men have. It's certain stuff. Like, we was talking about it, me and my brother, yesterday, yesterday actually. We were talking about how, um, like, women be still sticking with men after a man go have a baby on you. Now, that's your personal preference if you want to still view the man after he's 
had a child, an outside child on you. That's your preference. Not calling you stupid. That's just what you want to do. But I always say, if the shoe is on the other foot, how does this work? Like, when a guy, when if, if a woman cheated on her husband, now she's pregnant from her lover, would it be the same energy? Like, would he be like, oh, yeah, we going to make this work? That's my baby. We're going to accept this child for their own. I just want to know how would that be? So, yeah, like, I don't know. I just feel like in this day and age, you don't need to be settling. Like, don't settle for less. Like, seriously. It's not even worth it. So, ugh. I'm actually not going to do cream contour down here, but I am going to do it on my nose. Because the last time, like, the definition in my nose. I just feel like it could have been a little bit more. So I'm gonna use the definition of my nose. That was my blush right just dropped. And I'm using LA Girls Bronze, beautiful bronze. But yeah, like I just feel like sometimes like women be settling, and that's why like you see so many women of all races. I'm not just gonna say black women, like unhappy, not really happy within themselves, not really thriving because you know that's just like children you could tell which kids are being loved at home which children um you know like are really being taken care of they come to school clean and you know polished and you could tell what kids are not really tended to and a lot of times with women you could tell when a woman is not being treated properly or she's not being cared for properly you could tell it's very evident and it's very evident when a woman is being, you know, treated properly and, you know, you could, it, it's, you could tell. So, I said that to say this, you know, at the same time, like, I'm not saying people should just up and leave people every time they do something wrong. But I feel like you should have some boundaries, some standards. Hold on, y'all. She said, what you doing? I'm leaving the morning. Oh, my girl. That's my friend, y'all. She should check for me. She said, she's leaving tomorrow. But my brother is here.
Okay, so now that I've done my highlight and I let it set, now I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place. I'm gonna use this as a contour. And it's the color Cameroon. I'm gonna use that as my
Okay, so y'all, I'm using this Jeffree Star palette. It's a um brown in here called Hi Dude. I used it the other day to do my brows, so I'm just gonna make like soft hair like strokes in my brows. So what I'm going to have to do, I know I'm going to have to go in and do my tail because the powder is not going to give me the definition that I, this, 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 um, stuff is not going to give me the definition that I need, but I just wanted to keep it like really natural in the brow area. Like I told y'all, I think I told y'all that in the last video, I'm trying to practice like more of that celebrity finish look, um, because I'm planning to like, you know, push my makeup business a whole lot further. And, you know, I do my clients and stuff. I don't post a lot, which I do need to post more. But, um, 